Hey FlossTube, Ashley here, Schleesm on Instagram, Boogie Stitcher on YouTube, just coming to you guys with an update video just to talk about all the stitching that I've gotten done so far um, the last couple weeks. There's definitely some stuff that I can't show you guys, like I got two finishes done the last couple weeks, but of course I can't show you because they're presents for Christmas, so, you know. Whatever. But at least I got I got two finishes, guys. Woo! <laughs> for, for a full coverage stitcher, that's amazing. Um, these aren't full coverage, but still, I, I don't get to finish things very often, so it's kind of nice. But anyway, let's get into the video. So uh, let's first start off with uh, most of the stuff that I stitched this last couple weeks are were stamped kits. So um, just to warn you. If you're not interested then go ahead and just skip the video but most of what I did is stamped kits so let's go ahead and get started so my watercolor girl or who what I call her I didn't get a ton of stitching done on her um, I already had the face done as you guys saw I think I filled in a little bit of her hair but I actually started in this top corner I started filling in the top corner because I wanted to see some of the um, um, peonies appear and I actually started I cut some really long threads these are huge for me um, because I wanted to try parking so I want to try and like finish from this corner now and kind of work like I do a full coverage project so there's that here's the whole thing not very much done on her but I still love her and I'm still stitching on her a little bit as much as I can I said I'm still trying to work on a bunch of Christmas presents, um, so I haven't really had time to stitch on things that I want, because um, I've been too busy doing all my other crafting stuff for, for Christmas, but there is her. Next up, let's do the fairy. So I didn't get a ton worked on on the fairy either. Um, but I did start working on her wing some more so I filled in this top left corner and I can't remember how much I showed you guys in the last video but I um, basically started filling in all this top left side of the pattern and then I filled in some more of the wing right in here yeah, so there's her wing and I'll take her out. I have to adjust the cue snuff anyway, so I can go ahead and take her out real quick so you guys can see the whole thing. There we go. Da, da, da. Almost. There we go. All right, so let's open her up so you guys can see the full thing. There we go. Still not a ton done with her, but you know, every stitch counts, right? So like I said, I've been working on other things, but there's her wing and then her face. So pretty, I love her, love her. All right, I'll put her back in the cue snap later. Next, I'll go ahead and work or show you guys my counted um, project that I worked on these last couple weeks. Fair bit of progress, not a ton, but a fair bit. Um, this is my Fit to Stitch 2021 um, project that I am working on. Um, the Fit to Stitch 2021 was created by Ings Stitch on YouTube, and I think she is Ing Stitch, not plural, on Instagram. Um, I'll link her in the video down below so you guys can have her her stuff but anyway we are um, again I think I talked about this last video but if you uh, you weigh yourself every week and if you lose something then you get a stitch on your project and if you don't then you don't Ooh. oh excuse me sorry um so the last video I I was just about to make weigh myself to do the next like the coming weeks progress I lost 1.4 pounds or 1.8 pounds somewhere around there one point something and then this last week I I lost another 1.4 
or one point something. Um, so I got to stitch on it again. Now I will warn you, I did not get all of my projected stitches done. Just the way it goes. But here is my progress for this project. Uh, and it's all black. <laughs> Pretty much all of this is black, but right here, I'm just about to start working on the forehead and hair. Um, but I'm not going to be doing that right now. I'm, I'm just going to work down with the black, uh, to get down to the dragon, I think. So, which the dragon's like right over here somewhere. So but there you go. Nothing compared to like how big this thing is, <laughs> but that's okay. It's okay. And it's all wrinkly because I just took it out of the hoop. So there's that one. Let me put it back in the hoop so I can continue working on her. There we go. So this last week I lost another, I think this time I only lost like 1.2 or something. Um, check, check my Instagram. <laughs> That's where I post like how much I lose or what I'm at so far. So again, Schleezum, S-H-L-E-E-Z-M on Instagram. And in case you guys are wondering, I know it's a really weird Instagram name, but that's actually was my nickname in high school. I don't know why it just, you know, my name's Ashley and they used to call me Schlee, uh, like in volleyball way back in the day. Um, and then I kind of just turned into Schleezum like for like all my gaming stuff. So I don't know. But Schlee was my nickname in high school, way back in the day. Okay, there's that project. Next is going to, okay, so this one, I can show you my progress, but I cannot show you what the final result is going to be. And as soon as it starts looking like something, I will have to stop showing you because this is going to be a present. So anyway, just FYI. But for now, I can show you my progress because I have yet to show you guys this and I have stitched a lot on it the last two weeks. So this is pretty much where most of my progress has gone. So, ta-da! So this is a stamped kit and wow, it looks really good on video. <laughs> the larger kits, you know, when you have them far away, they look really good, but you always forget to hold them away from your face when you're stitching on them, you know, cause you're looking at them like this and you're like, this looks terrible. But then you hold it away. I'm looking at it in the little like uh, mirror, and dang, that looks good. I'm so excited. <laughs> but anyway, this is a this is a gift, so I can't show you what it is going to look like. But and mom, ah, my mom's stitching the same one. We're stitching it together um, because she's stitching this for me, which is so funny. It's a small story. Um, so I got this to make us a Christmas gift. Um, for someone and um, and I was like this is you know so cute I oh I love it and then I um, oh, excuse me and then my mom wanted to make me something and she had bought a mountain off AliExpress um, some mountain it was really pretty but by the time she got it because um, she wanted to stitch a mountain for me. Uh, when she got it, she uh, realized it was counted and not stamped, which was really sad because it is a really pretty pattern. So I might actually steal it from her at some point one day when I finish more projects. Um, but anyway, so she got that and she was really sad. So then she decided that she was going to, since I liked this secret uh, pattern so much, she was going to buy this instead. So she's stitching this for me and I'm stitching it for someone else. So, but she didn't realize that... Um, what she had bought to stitch for me um, was the same pattern as what I'm doing. <laughs> but it ended up being, yeah, it was ended up being a funny story. So now we're stitching it together. So uh, again, can't tell you what it is, but it is super pretty. And I'd say, let me quickly count up my stitches here. I have a, a couple more down below, um, but I have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, I have about 3,400 stitches done on this. So just to warn you guys, I think that's like the highest count I have on a stamped kit right now. So I'm doing good considering you know, Christmas is right around the corner. But anyway, so here's this. 
this will probably be the last time I am able to show you guys what this is. So I just don't know who all watches my channel. So, which is sad because I'm putting a lot of stitches into this, but oh well. Maybe instead of showing you guys what it is, I'll just um, give you guys stitch counts. Be like, hey, so you know that one project I can't show you? Yeah, I stitched like 800 stitches on that this time. I don't know. Let me know what you want. But I can't show you guys any more than that. This will be the last time I get to show it, unfortunately. There's that. And the last thing I worked on, um, minus, of course, the two finishes that I did. And I have a third one on the way. Um, ooh, it's thunder and lightning. Oh, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but man, oh, I love a good storm. We don't get very good storms here where I live. Um, but I wish we did. Anyway, uh, so as you all know, a lot of my projects, I start like over three or four times. Normally three is like the winning number. After I've started it two times, I'm like, okay, no, this, I always change something. Well, this is a stitching shelf. I'll show you close up in a minute. Um, I originally started it on a 28 count, uh, two over one tent, starting in the top right corner of the fabric. And I decided I did not like the 28 count for how big the project was going to be. Wasn't going to work for me. Um, so hold on, honey. <sighs> Sorry. Dog's whining cause of thunder and then my daughter. <laughs> anyway, so 28 count was not going to work for me. My eyes are starting to get kind of tired from looking at the smaller counts. So, um, then I decided I was going to try it on my 22 count. No, I got like 20. I got like 20 stitches in. I was like, I'm not doing that. That's not happening. So then I special ordered this fabric on AliExpress. This is 18 count Ada, just white Ada. And this is, I think, going to be the final product. <gasps> Hopefully. So this time I started in the top left corner like I always do. I originally started um, stitching it as cross country and then have just now switched to stitching diagonally in blocks. So this is my progress. Pretty good so far, considering I've only worked on it the last two days. So not a ton of progress. So a little bit further away, a little closer, and a little closer. But yeah, this is a stitching shelf. And again, I really love this pattern. Once I can get out of the confetti of the flowers, it would be even better. But, but yeah, so there she is. There she be. And with this one, there's so much fabric because it's 18 count and it's a large pattern. I think it's like 700 stitches wide by like 500 up and down, something like that. I actually had to like roll this up and wrap like a giant headband around it to kind of keep it out of my way. <laughs> so it's like, ah. And quick little tip. Um, I don't, I mean, this might be a tip for some of you, maybe not at all. And you guys already knew this and I'm just low to the game, but if you put fleece or flannel or some sort of fabric in between your snaps, your cute snaps, um, not only does it, you know, kind of help protect your, um, your fabric and your stitching, but when you're at the top corner of a project, a brand new project or any type of corner or side of a project, I'm so sorry. Apparently I need more coffee. Um, when you're at the side of a project, you have, you, I mean, you're right at the top. Um, and so when you go to tighten these, they don't stay very tight because you're basically just slipping on the edge of the fabric. So I put these just fleece rectangles that I've cut out of like a blanket. Um, and you put them on there and then you put your snap down and actually it stops, it stops it from slipping and it gives you enough grip to be able to like loosen and tighten your project. So anyway, there, there she be. So again, I don't have a ton to show. I mean, I ha I've done a lot of stitching, but a lot of it I can't show you. So, <laughs> but I mean, this is a fair bit of stitching. This is pretty much new for you guys to see. So there's that, um, you know, this is, let's see, one, two, three, four. Five, I mean, this is 1700 stitches, so that's pretty good. Um, you know, in the fairy, I got about a couple hundred 
and this one I only I only did a hundred on this so again not very much but but yeah been kind of busy you know summer's about to end so we're trying to get as much done as possible while the weather is while the weather is still nice so yeah that's about it I hope you all have a fabulous day um, get a ton of stitching time if you want to join Ings Stitch um, there's a couple of others that I've joined too. I think we have the four people total, including myself working on the fit to stitch 2021 tag on Instagram. Um, really fun, you know, way to kind of one, stay motivated to stitch and stay motivated to lose weight. So there's that. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on any videos that you guys want to see, let me know in the comments down below. Always looking for ideas right now. I'm just showing you guys updates, but if there's something that you guys want to see, let me know. Um, I also recently got into plants. I'm now a new plant mom. I, I had gotten a couple previous in my previous video and I have them like over here. I have them over here, which you can't see. Um, but I'm recently getting into plants and it's so much fun to grow plants indoors. Um, you get to like, I woke up this morning and looked at all of my plants and I saw babies on like all of them, baby leaves. So it's like a new, a new hobby. Yeah. Oh, and there's also another project that I also can't show you. Um, that's almost completed as well, <laughs> which I guess I can't really show you or talk about it, but I'm almost done with another finish. That's not cross stitch related. <laughs> so much Christmas stuff. Uh, oh, well. And then, yeah. Hmm. An ink stitch almost convinced me to get a mill hill kit as well. So I might have to get me one of those. If you guys have any suggestions on a mill hill kit, let me know also down below. I see everyone else's floss tube and I just want to buy all the things and start all the things. But I'm trying. I'm trying really hard to work on everything that I have now. <laughs> because let me tell you, I have a lot, as you all know. But anyway, I hope you all have a great day, a great weekend. Happy Thursday. And uh, take care. Talk to you guys next time. Bye.